Hey guys, Steven here of Four Oaks Crafts and I've got a short video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how I make my homemade wood butter. And this is a mixture of uh, two parts mineral oil to one part beeswax. And I use it to put on all my uh, handmade uh, kitchen utensils, cutting boards, uh, spoons, spatulas, uh, you name it. And the fun part about this is I get to use uh, beeswax that comes from my dad's honey beehives and he's also got a passive uh, solar wax melter that he used to melt the wax down into these blocks so i'm going to be going over the recipe with you i'm going to show you how to put all this together uh, and i'm going to be sharing some tips on how to take care of your wooden utensils so join with me and let's get started okay basically there's four things you need to make the wood butter you need some beeswax you need some uh, mineral oil that you can get from like Home Depot or Lowe's. You need a 16 ounce uh, jar that's used for canning and you need a wide lid on that and just need a small saucepan from the kitchen. Okay I like to use a two cup uh, glass uh, measuring cup and all I'm going to do is uh, fill this up to the one cup or eight ounce mark with the mineral oil. Okay, and now I'm just going to pour that eight ounces of mineral oil into my small saucepan. Okay, and here are the uh, blocks of beeswax. Uh, and if you've got a digital scale, you can just measure out four ounces of beeswax, or you can just sort of guesstimate is what I do. Now, this is my dad's uh, beeswax. Uh, you don't have access to, to real beeswax, and just look in your craft store under the candle making section, and maybe you can find some there. Okay, here I'm using my outside burner next to my grill, and I'm just turning it to a really low heat setting. Going to go ahead and add the pot of uh, mineral oil let it heat up a little bit and then i'm going to add the uh, blocks of beeswax then i like to use a wooden spoon and just uh, continue to watch that stir it and eventually it's not going to take long for that wax to melt and it will melt down to sort of a uh, clear light yellow uh, liquid. Just make sure all the, the wax is melted and it's sort of a you know clear liquid as you see here. Next what I'll do is I will take that pot off and let it cool a little bit. After it's cooled a little bit I'll take another little strainer and I'm going to go ahead and pour the the uh, beeswax and mineral oil solution into the 16 ounce jar. Okay next I'm going to cover the jar with uh, some paper towels or napkins and uh, just kind of fasten that on there with the uh, rubber band and I'm going to put it away overnight let it cool and let it form into the wood butter. Okay get ready for the big reveal it's been 24 hours I've set the mixture aside and I'm going to take the uh, paper towel off and look, it's turned into this beautiful, creamy looking wood butter that's going to work wonders on uh, kitchen wooden utensils, cutting boards, and such as that. Okay guys, and here are a few tips for just uh, taking care of your wooden kitchen utensils. First, I'd like to say that wood is very safe. Uh, I would recommend that, that if you've got wooden cutting boards and wooden utensils that you do use a, a closed grain hardwood. You know, something like maple, uh, you know, uh, beech, uh, cherry, things like that that have closed grain that d don't soak in a lot of moisture. Um, and then on top of that, I would say use a food safe finish like the, the uh, beeswax wood butter that we just showed you how to make. Um, don't soak uh, your wooden utensils in water. What I like to do is when I'm washing my dishes, I just take uh, the uh, cutting boards and wooden spoons 
over to the soapy water and I've got a little brush that I like to just dip them down in that soapy water, pull them out, you know, scrub them up real good and then rinse them clean, uh, wipe off the excess water and then set them aside and let them air dry. Also, uh, don't place uh, your, your wooden utensils in dishwashers. Uh, just keep a, a look on look out on your wooden utensils and reapply the wood butter oil or whatever you're using. You know, use it as you as you need it. You know, as you if you notice the uh, wood starting to dry out. Now, one thing that I would say, if you start to develop some pretty good sized cracks in your cutting boards or your utensils, then what you might need to do is you might either throw it away or uh, take it back into the workshop and see if you can sand away uh, any cracks uh, or defects or use your carving knife and redo some stuff. You don't want to have major cracks in your, your uh, wooden utensils because that does give an, a place for food to collect and maybe bacteria to grow. But overall, if you, uh, again, if you, if you watch these things and you, you clean your uh, wooden utensils uh, properly, uh, they will last a very long time. In fact, they will over time develop a patina, you know, on the wood itself after a lot of use. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and these uh, last few tips. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next video.